Hello guys and welcome to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. So today we are going to view that how can we create a simple text animation technique. In this we are going to treat the text as the 3D layers. So this will be our first tutorial in which we are going to manipulate text in a three dimensional format. So let's see that what we are going to create. So as you can see, this is the animation that we are going to create and uh, there are four layers of text that we are using and all these four layers are that means they are aligned together. Um, so it looks cool and appealing to the eye and it is a very simple text technique but instead of the uh, two dimensions we are just reading the and taking the three dimensions of text that is the height as well Type to using the kinetic typography. So let's see that how can we create it? So, you know the drill you need to go to composition first and Create a new composition. Uh, you can now name it anything Now the frame rate of 30 frames per second is okay. The duration of 5 seconds is okay. The background color you can choose anything or you can just keep it black. It doesn't matter. Hit okay. Now uh, we need to create a new solid layer. So go to the layer area and right click. Uh, now you need to go to new and click on solid to create a new solid layer. Since this is going to be our background. So we are going to name it as BG. And uh, you need to choose a shade that is um, that you like for your background. So I'm going to choose this yellow shade. And this is a hexadecimal value of the color that I am using. Hit OK. And then again OK. The next thing I'm going to do is start typing my text. So for this you can just go to the text tool and click here. Now type in any text that you want. I'm going to type three now type in any text that you want i'm typing in dimensional you can just align this layer now go to the text tool and click here so a new text layer would be created and then for the fourth layer i'm going to type So now four of my text layers have been created. The next thing we are going to do is align them uh, all to the center. If you are happy with that, you have to go here where you will find an option of choose guide and grid options and turn on your guides and rulers as well. As soon as you do that, drive two guides from your vertical ruler, one to the start of the three and the other to the end like this. Now you got to adjust all of your text so that they are aligned with this starting and the ending points. So go to dimensional and decrease its width a little bit. If you want, you can also just decrease its height. That looks good. Then the same we have to do with text. You have to increase its width a little bit, but decrease its height once you do that you got to make sure that it is aligned to the center again same thing we are going to do with animation Now, once you're happy with your text, you can just uh, turn your rulers and guides back off and you will find your text like this. So now what we're going to do is make all these four text layers as 3D. So you have to click on toggle switches and moons until you find this panel in front of you. Now, when you do that, you will find that there is a cube like structure over here. 
So this cube is used to make any 2D layer a 3D layer. So we have to just click on these cubes for the four text layers and these all would be made 3D. Now uh, here you will find an option of motion blur. Just click on it. And for the individual layers as well, you have to click on individual motion blurs. This will just create a blurred motion, which will in turn result in generating a smooth animation. Now you need to go to your first text layer. And for this option, uh, you again need to just turn back your guides on. Now uh, just hit P on your keyboard to bring up position. Move forward around 15 frames in time and keyframe the current value of position. Now hit R to bring up rotation and just keyframe the value of Y rotation. Now move back to about 5 frames in time. Hit U to bring up both the keyframes and change the value of position so that just decrease the value of the X coordinate so that there is this green arrow. It must coincide with your guide. Now change the value of Y rotation to a 90 degrees or lesser around 85 to 90. You have to keep the value so that no, uh, your text layer is not visible at all. I'm keeping it at 83 degrees. Now the same thing you have to do for the dimensional layer. Move forward to around one second. Hit P to bring up position. Keyframe it. And hit R to bring up rotation. Keyframe the value of Y rotation. Go back to around 20 frames. Hit U to bring up both the keyframes. Change the value of position. Just increase the value of Y coordinate so that the green arrow coincides with the guides option. And change the value of Y to minus 84 degrees. Once you do that, you can see that it is not visible anymore. So that's it. Now the animation for the tree and the dimensional layer is complete. But now we have to do the animation for the text layer. In our sample animation, the text layer was animated from the above. So for that, we are again going to turn on our rulers. And this time we have to grab two horizontal rulers. One just above the text layer. That must be touching the boundary of this text layer. And the next horizontal guide would be touching the lower boundary of this animation layer. Now, just go to the text layer, hit P to bring up position, move forward to 15 frames and keyframe it, then hit R to bring up rotation and keyframe the value of Y rotation, move back to 15 frames, hit U to bring up the keyframes and change the value of position for this we are going to change the value of y coordinate we are just going to decrease the value of the y coordinate a little bit and we need to just change the value of y rotation to a perfect 90 degree we are going to move forward to about five frames and now we need to start animating this animation layer so move forward to about 15 frames hit p to bring up the position keyframe the position Hit R to bring up rotation and keyframe the value of X rotation. Hit U to bring up the keyframes. Move backward for about 15 frames. And change the value of X rotation to a perfect 90 degrees. Or to a value that uh, makes it invisible. That's it around 84 degrees. And just change the position a little bit towards the downside like this. Now, once you are happy with your animation, uh, you can just turn off the guides and the rulers. Now, we need to go to the first frame and just preview it because uh, our animation is complete. So, we just move to the first frame and preview it. So this is the three dimensional text animation technique that uh, we have created. And uh, as you can see, it is very simple to create. You got nothing to do. Just you got to manipulate the position and the angle of rotation. And through this, you can achieve this very good looking technique. Hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and uh, 
keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge for more such tutorials goodbye